afternoon everyone. It is Sunday, February 9th, 2020, and as you can see it's a really beautiful afternoon in the Lehigh Valley. We've had some lousy weather over the past week, a lot of rain, but thank goodness it was rain because if it was snow, I don't even think I'd be leaving the house. We'd probably be driving through 10 feet of this stuff. Um, today, I'm just going out for some errands, nothing exciting, but I figured I'd drive a little bit out of the way because I've noticed some construction projects and some demolition projects in my part of the Lehigh Valley over the last week or two, and uh, this is my first chance to actually get out in the decent weather to do some filming. And um, two of these are follow-ups to uh, videos I did in the early days of the channel. So I figured I'd just give you a quick little follow-up while I'm on my way down to the Bethlehem Allentown area. So this will be edited. I'm not going to show you the full drive. We'll just uh, jump ahead to the interesting parts. Our first project is coming up here on the right side at the stop sign. Uh, you'll remember early last year there was a devastating fire at the Seamsville Pub and Tav or Seamsville Pub and Grill. I always want to call it the Seamsville Tavern. The old building was completely torn down, and what you're looking at now is the new one going up. I'm going to circle around and give us a couple different views. Okay, so we're coming up on our second view of the new Seamsville Pub and Grill, approaching from the north. Uh, we're heading south towards Bethlehem. You can see it there on the corner. It's looking really good. I heard in the local news recently that they're going to be starting the interior work. I do not know the opening date, but a lot of people in this area are really looking forward to it. I'm really glad they were able to rebuild after the fire, and I'm really looking forward to checking it out. I'll let you know what it's like when I do. Okay, we're heading west now. This is probably uh, the view of Seamsville Pub and Grill. This is probably the approach that will give you the best view. Coming up on that four-way stop that you always see, and you can see the new building ahead. Uh, I know they've got a lot of the exterior done. Uh, last I heard in the news, they were going to start working on the interior soon. It's looking pretty good from here. I'm not sure when it's going to open, but I am looking forward to it. And now I'm going to intersperse our demolition and construction tour with just a beautiful vista of the Lehigh Valley. I'm heading south on uh, Seamsville Road, and um, what you're seeing is pristine, untouched farmland. Unfortunately, it's not going to stay like that much longer. Unfortunately, a lot of the beautiful fields that you're seeing right now, and I'm not going to say these specific ones because I don't have the plans in front of me, but a lot of these beautiful fields are soon going to be torn up and turned into yet more warehouses. Uh, the Lehigh Valley is becoming a major, major distribution hub for the Northeast, uh, really for the country, and shit. Here you go. Here's the beginning of it. I had actually hoped that today's drive was going to get me, um, ah, look at this flock of birds here. There's a nice little bonus. <laughs> Maybe they're gone over there to protest. Uh, I was really hoping this drive was going to get me a pristine, um, untouched view of the landscape. Unfortunately, off to the right, you can see the construction's already underway. Uh, this road itself is going to be realigned, I believe, more to the left. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen the plans. I'm going to have to check on that stuff. Um, it's going to be realigned so that trucks can have better access. This is 329 we're coming up on. It's going to give the trucks access to 329 and give the people who live in these houses here some hopeful peace and quiet uh, so that the trucks aren't rumbling by their houses at all hours of the day. 329 is a um, somewhat major, kind of right now the most major back road through the area in addition to 248. This road is going to be absolutely overwhelmed with tractor trailer traffic in a couple of years. Not happy about it. 
Uh, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I don't think anybody's happy about it, other than the people who own the warehouses. Um, we're turning left here onto Weaversville Road. There used to be an old carriage house on the near corner to the left, and there used to be a beautiful two-story brick home, actually two and a half story, I think it had dormers in the uh, top level, uh, off to the left far corner where I'm about to turn. Um, they had to tear that down about two years ago to widen this intersection. This intersection was widened in anticipation of a lot of the truck traffic. Even though in theory it should not, the truck should not be allowed on Weaversville Road, which I'm now driving on. I say in theory because all of the roads that have been blocked off to trucks so far, they still stray down them, but hey, everything helps. Anyway, I am still planning a longer series on the changes coming to the Lehigh Valley with the warehouses. I did do a lot of driving a year ago to capture some, I should say, a lot of the untouched land. Uh, I don't believe Seamsville Road was one of them, but I hope I'm wrong when I go back and review the footage. We'll find out. For now, I'm going to jump ahead to our next site. All right, I'm still on Weaversville Road. We've got our Christmas tree farm off to the right, which I adore. I love seeing the baby Christmas trees. We're crossing the Norbath Rail Trail and off to the left, and I do not remember the name of this facility. Um, it's a former correctional rehab kind of facility. This building off to the left here, this is being torn down. Uh, I hope to get a better view coming back. You can see off to the left, the one wall being torn down. I don't know what's going to happen with this stone house on the corner. This is Colony Drive off to the left. I imagine that stone house is going to be coming down soon, too. Heading north on Weaversville Road, passing the Colony Drive intersection. You can see coming up behind the stone house is the uh, remainder of the rehab facility. I forget its name. Uh, they've, knocking, but they've been knocking down the south side of that for a couple of days now. And uh, I imagine that's going to progress as the following week goes on. And uh, if there's something to show you, I'll put together another video. I don't know what, if anything, is going in its place. It caught me by surprise when I drove by about a week ago and saw the demolition equipment there. Um, I haven't heard of anything going up there. I haven't heard news of it coming down. But uh, we had, like I said, we had a week of rain and darkness and I had some stuff after work several nights um, so that's that this is another field off to the right that I believe is unfortunately doomed to warehouses just outside of view there's already two warehouses one you can't see well you can't see either one one I don't know what it is the other is the FedEx mega hub that everybody here loves to hate Straight ahead, I love this little stone house that's blocked by the tree, and sadly that's been collapsing over the years. Uh, the roof, every time I drive by, the roof is just a little bit more caved in, a little bit more, a little bit more, and i got to imagine at some point they're going to tear it down. It's going to break my heart, but I'd rather see it torn down than spontaneously collapse into the road. So we'll see what happens. On to the next site. I think you're going to like this next one. Okay, now I'm on Shanersville Road, heading south towards Bethlehem. I just crossed over Route 22, and this view wouldn't mean a whole lot to you if you're not from the Lehigh Valley, but right now this is still one of the most heart-wrenching views for me. Um, if you had looked off to the right as we crested that hill over 22, you would have seen Martin Tower. Uh, Martin Tower, which is kind of what started this channel for me. Again, you would have seen it off to the right here, just as we're coming up. This is Westgate Mall, just past the traffic light. You would have seen it just over the mall to the right. Uh, Martin Tower, the former headquarters of Bethlehem Steel, was imploded on May 19th, 2019. Uh, as much as I love building demolitions and implosions, I really hated to see that tower go down. I really loved that building. Uh, it was completed in 1972. 
and it's just gone before it's time. I mean, that thing could have stood for several centuries had they wanted it to, but, um, you know, such as the, uh, the decisions developers make, we have no control over it. Anyway, you probably guess where I'm headed. See you there. And now we're turning onto 8th Avenue, and just up ahead to the left, Martin Tower would have been filling the sky. And it still hurts to see it gone. I'm not going to get tired of saying that anytime soon. Uh, I'm coming down here today just really to check on the rubble pile. I hear there's not much left. It's been a slow cleanup. They've been recycling a lot of the concrete. Help if they use some of it to fix the road there. But I'm going to turn in and we're going to have a look. So it's been almost nine months since the morning of the building implosion. You can see there's not much left. I know I've done a couple follow-up videos, and I know I swore my last follow-up video was the last one, but here we are. We're doing one more. Um, you can see a little bit off to the right behind that, that pine tree, there's still some steel beams sticking up from the ground. What they did when they cleared a lot of this out, I mean, they were sorting the steel from the concrete, and they moved a lot of the stuff. Uh, to the left of where I'm sitting, that was the parking lot. Uh, you know, they have a lot of open space around this tower. They just used what they could. Anyway, I'm going to get out and uh, take a few photos and have a quick look around. As you've seen, there's really not much left. I imagine this cleanup will be done sometime in the spring. They're going to redevelop the land. It's going to be a mixed-use development. I can't pretend to be excited about any of it. It's going to be mostly residential, some retail, some restaurants, some medical offices, probably another... Sorry, I'm kind of looking off to my side here trying to pull into traffic. I don't know if that's affecting the sound. Okay, we're underway. Um, yeah, just going to be a pretty typical little development. Um, I know they say with the growth of business in the Lehigh Valley, there's starting to be a bit of a housing crunch. I wouldn't say an actual shortage, but a lot of people are crying about the affordability. I'm not sure where the new development falls um, on the spectrum, but I think it is going to be some apartments, townhomes, so probably some good entry-level stuff, but um, again, nothing I'm particularly enthused about. Alright, well, thank you for riding with me. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's all I've got to show you today. I'll do some creative editing if I come upon something else, but um, getting on 378 here and um, just heading up to Target and a couple other places, just getting some stuff done so thank you as ever for coming along for the ride i know i keep promising this warehouse series i'm gonna get to it guys i'm really gonna get to it soon so have a wonderful weekend and stay tuned for more thank you for watching here's a case of but wait there's more uh, you can see that big steel structure going up in the background behind this shopping center. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's over by uh, the main facility for B. Braun Medical. I'm not sure it might be uh, an addition to that facility. Not 100% on that, but when you drive in the vicinity of Route 22 and Airport Road and uh, Postal Road over by the airport, uh, that's a structure that's starting to dominate the skyline. 
not sure how tall it's going to be or, or what the plans are for it, but uh, that's one more in progress. Alright, because I never know how to end these videos, we're just going to continue our tour. I don't think I was in Target for half an hour, and boy, I came out and it was a completely different day. It was uh, beautiful and sunny when I went in, and um, I don't think it's supposed to rain or snow today, but boy, did it cloud up, and it just feels about 10 degrees colder, even though it isn't. You know, the sun has that kind of effect. Off uh, to the left is the cargo terminal for the airport. You see two FedEx jets, and the rest that are here all day, every day, are usually uh, Amazon jets or one of the third-party companies they contract. I'm going to turn the camera to the right here. Hopefully, I'm going to get a good view of it. That's that steel structure that I was pointing out from the Target parking lot. It's right next to B. Braun Medical. Um, I don't know if that's going to be another one of their buildings. Um, but I know that's a growing company. I mean, here, yeah, actually, they got a sign right out front there. That is going to be an expansion for B. Braun. So I just wanted to uh, swing by that and get a good look. And I swear, this is it. This is the end of the video, guys. Even though I'm going to do a little more footage on the way back, it's actually going to be edited further forward in the video because it's of the Seamsville Pub and Grill and that um, rehab facility that's being torn down. Anyway, if you got this far, as always, thank you for watching.